All right, so this is a 2020 T1 Silverado uh, Z71. Um, wanted a winch. I didn't like what I was seeing. Um, I kind of wanted to keep the factory look to it. Uh, I did not want a huge bumper on it, so I looked up hidden winches. There's another fellow here on YouTube. Um, I'll try to give uh, some credit to him. I just can't remember his name. But he also has a silver Silverado um, that he did his hidden winch setup on. Um, but basically, I took a winch mount from a Fab Four bumper. Um, didn't buy the bumper, just a winch mount. And I fabricated up my own um, Haas Fairlead plate, uh, welded that to the uh, Fab Four's winch mount, um, and just measured it out, cut it. And once I did the cut, I put uh, auto trim around it, so cleaned it up just a little bit. Um, also, I wanted the controllers up at the top of the engine, um, just because I didn't want to have to fiddle fart around with it if uh, if something happened. So, um, Vice Industries has a relocation kit, which you can see here. Let me get a light real fast. And uh, that's a relocation kit. It's for a Smitty built um, 12,000 pound winch wireless controller. Um, the device kit basically are these cables here that basically allow you to relocate it. They're longer cables and uh, they'll cut them to length. So I routed it through here through the opening. Um, and then straight down, there's another opening which is pretty convenient. Um, the only thing that I really had to worry about with. Uh, there's a tremendous amount of sharp edges so as you'll see I put auto trim it's like 15 bucks for 10 feet um, around all the sharp edges where the cable would run you can see it down there as well um, I also did it um, down front under the bumper um, the I did double triple loom everything um, Ran the battery from here, I'm sorry, the, the supply power supply cable from here to the battery box. And it actually has a nice little uh, place you can bolt it directly there and a slot on the back of the box. So it fits in there nicely and cleanly. Um, and uh, actually worked out really, really well. Um, another worry I had was being able to access the clutch for it. So what I did was I cut out, you see these slots here? Cut out two slots here, put the auto trim again right here, and that allowed me to go straight down. You can kind of see the winch down there, but basically what I can do is just reach down, control my winch as I need to, um, engage it, free spool it, whatever I need to, and, it, and it's, it's readily accessible and movable. Um, so eliminated that hassle, which is another worry again, like I had. Um, but yeah, everything, everything comes out good. Everything works good. Um, couldn't be happier with the Vice, uh, Vice Designs um, extension kit. Um, hooked everything up nice and clean, and the Smitty built winches worked great for me. Uh, the Factor 55 um, Fairlead attachment, or not Fairlead attachment, sorry. Um, this attachment on the end of, on the, on the end of the synthetic rope, um, it, it's worked out well. I think I'd probably go with the E just for the larger one because I prefer the soft shackles um, over the D shackles. But anyways, it's worked out good. Uh, if anybody was like me and they had any doubts about whether or not it could be done, because nobody really truly offers a a truly hidden uh, winch winch mount system. Um, I, it, it can be done. It's, it's not rough. It just takes a little bit of time and effort. Um, and hopefully somebody else does. If y'all do, please leave a post and, and, and show me. I'd love to take a look at it and uh, see how it does. Thanks for looking.